Hello everyone, welcome back to the Aikido Virtual Dojo channel. Um, today we're going to be looking at Shichi no Awase. So Shichi no Awase corresponds to the Shichi no Suburi, the movements that we do solo, a solo practice, the seventh Suburi. And so this is a partner practice. So in Awase, then we're blending together with a partner. So this particular practice uh, goes together with the Shichi no Suburi. So let's uh, work on the Shichi no Awase. We begin the Shichinawase exercise, standing in front of our partner with a Boken at the side. You can bow. And then, as we move into the position, actually because the Shichinawase, like the Shichino Suburi, will start from the other side, cutting from the other side, so we change the position. And in order to change the position, I will bring my back foot next to my front foot, raising the Boken vertically and then stepping back with the other foot so that we can touch our bokens again from the other side. And from this position now, I can start cutting, so attacking. So the attacking side, I will first move a little bit around the boken of Durward. I cannot move straight in because I will get into his boken. So I want to move around and cut towards his head from the side, like a kind of Yoko Menuchi. So here, and cutting to the side. And uh, the, the other side, the defending side, Durot will explain in a moment how we do it. So from here, Durot has caught my Boken, so he will push it away a little bit. And I use this opening here on, the, on his other side. I want to use his opening to bring my, the top of my Boken to the other side of Durot's Boken and attack towards his side, towards his ribs. So he is blocking, and from this position, we can restart the movement. So again, cutting around, moving to the other side, being pushed away, coming back with the top of the Boken on the target, on the, uh, on the partner, and we restart again. Now, as we come back to the arrive at the end of our space where we want to train, we can change the roles. So now Durot will be attacking and I will be moving back. Okay, so now we're going to show you the receiving side. Okay, so uh, Marchen was showing you the uchitachi, the attacking side of, the, of this particular owase. And I'm going to show you the uketachi, the receiving side. So this is for the shichi no owase. So we begin in the same way, coming into kamai. And again, we need to change sides. So we're going to together change sides. And he's going to begin with a yoko manuchi to the side. And I'm going to step back and block. Now this time I don't make a, a final cut, so it's just a block um, almost all the way through, but not quite. But I don't want to stay here, so I need to do something to open the path. So I'm going to slide the sword and cut almost kind of down into his sword, not pushing sideways, because that leaves me open, but cutting almost into him here, okay, pointing directly towards him. So he's obligated to go around the sword if he wants to come in, and that's where he tries to come in with the ski right into the ribs, making me go back with a simple step to block. Now as he comes in again, I raise and meet his sword there. Again, sliding into the sword. Be careful not to prepare too much, but just right into it. And as he comes in, I step back and guard the center. Okay, so that will change and we'll come back and show you this again. Once we've shown you the complete exercise of the Shishinawase, we want to point your attention to three specific details. So first of them is actually uh, after the first cut, 
when we arrive here. So actually, Durotur maybe explain it because he's in the position <laughs> to do the slice. Yeah, so when we're doing this parry here, opening up the sword, then again, like we had mentioned before, we don't want to push it. But this is, and we don't want to just drop the sword because that won't do anything to his sword. So we want to come from more of the sense of the body dropping, almost like a, like a whip. Okay, kind of whipping into the motion and coming straight into his center line. And what that does is that draws down through his sword into the center line and opens it directly. Okay, so we want to do this from, from the center. And there's less preparation and it has a larger impact. The second point is the ski that comes after this uh, slicing or whipping movement. Okay, so when we get there, again changing sides, first attack. So Durward is slicing here or doing this sweeping movement or creating this wave that, that brings my bokken out. And now what I can see here is that actually this part here, his side, is open, is not protected at the moment from the side. So I want to point the top of my bokken and bring it underneath uh, Duro's bokken and point it to his side. And then I move in from the other side, targeting his ribs and placing myself, my body just in a position with, where I can enter aside his bokken without uh, being stopped. So I just move to the side just enough to avoid his bokken, the top of his bokken and get close enough so that I can strike his ribs. One more point to make is um, sort of towards the end, this last blocking movement from the uke tachi. Okay, so we want to show you just a small detail about that. So starting from the beginning here, okay, moving into the preparation for the awase. First cut, opening. And as he comes in, I'm going to move, take a step back as he draws in so that I don't get hit. But I want to be able to do this in such a way that I cover not only the base and the top, so for all the way from a lower base all the way up to about even almost the head, but in such a way that it's in front of my center and it lines up at an angle where if he continues his ski, it actually continues out to the side. So I have to be anchored here as well. Okay, so it's more of a little bit more um, up and down, vertical in this way, rather than horizontal this way. Okay, so we hope you enjoyed this demonstration and this explanation from our side. Uh, let us know uh, if you practice the same way and uh, if you like this movement. And see you next time. If you like our video, give us a thumb up and share it with your friends. You can also subscribe to receive notifications about new videos being published. More information is available in the channel description as well as through the link section.